how to cover up a wall with mirrors and plates. Now I'm going to be using items from the Dollar Tree and items from Walmart as well to cover up this plain wall that I have at home. If we hold ourselves together, we'll go far. Hey guys, Seed of Essentials here. Today's video, I'm going to be starting off with Walmart mirrors. And I'm going to be using these mirrors that I got from Walmart. And I got 10 in total to cover up a blank wall that I have in my home. These mirrors are super cheap. That's why they're kind of flimsy. But yeah, they're cheap. So I got 10 in number. But I was looking for gold in color, but they didn't have gold. So I bought what they had. So now I'm going to be prepping it for spray painting. I'm just going to be covering up the middle part and spray painting the frames gold. When they were dry, I took four and glued them together using a strong adhesive. I'm going to start by applying the strong adhesive in between all four mirrors. And after that, I'll be gluing wood on top of it to make all four mirrors come as one piece. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Because I'm going to be turning this over, I'm going to be using screws to attach the wood to the frames. Like I said before, I'm doing this because I'm going to have to turn this over to attach the other mirror that's supposed to be in the middle. Now, because the caulk is not dry yet, I would have to attach the wood to the frames on the mirror to make it much more sturdy before I then turn it over. I flipped it over and now I'm going to be adding the fifth mirror on top of it in the middle. Now, instead of doing it the way that I did it, you can also just have the board on the floor, the wooden board on the floor, and then have all four mirrors glued on the wooden board that's on the floor facing the top and then having the fifth mirror on top of it. That way you won't need to flip it over, which can obstruct the curing of the adhesive caulk. So you're going to have everything just flat on the floor with the fifth mirror in the middle. And then you just leave it there to dry overnight. The Gorilla Caulk Adhesive is really strong. But then if you are concerned because of the weight of the entire thing, you can have screws that's going to go from the frames to the wood that's at the bottom just for added security. I'm making sure that the mirror is right at the middle and I let it dry overnight. And I made two because I'm gonna be mounting two on two sides of the wall. What I made is really, really heavy. So I'm gonna be mounting them up with command strips that actually holds up to 16 pounds. I got a pack that has a lot of pairs in it and each pair can hold up to 16 pounds. Because of the weight, I will be using probably five or six pairs per design. Mm -hmm. 
some of you have told me that command strips does not work for them. Now it could be one or two things. Either the surfaces of where you want to be attaching the command strips to are not properly clean or you're repositioning the command strips to a different location and that's not going to work because you have just reduced the strength of the adhesive. So if you need to reposition your work, use fresh pairs of command strips. This is the wall that I'm going to be working on. And because what I just made is really, really heavy, it took me a while to have it up. So another idea would be probably to have the mirrors mounted one at a time on the wall using separate command strips and then just joining them together on the wall to make it easy to remove as well. Because this was really heavy, the trick that I used was to have this resting on the baseboard that's at the bottom. And then it was easy now for me to just press the mirror to the wall. Now I'm going to be mounting the second sign on the other side of the wall. I clean the mirrors and then the mirror that's in the middle is where I'm going to be installing lighting that's going to make what I have here on the wall more interesting. These are remote control push lights that I got from Walmart and they all come with their own adhesive tabs for the back. It also comes with different color options. These are the bowls that I got from the Dollar Tree that I'll be using for the lighting. I'll be gluing the bowls to a piece of wood to make it easy for me to have all of them arranged instead of installing the bowls one after the other on the mirror. The idea behind using these bowls for the lighting is simple. I would like the lights to be reflecting on all four sides. That way giving me more lighting when the lights are on. I'll be mounting these up with command strips. Now because they're not so heavy, I'm going to be cutting one pair into two and attaching them at the back. Here's what it looks like. And the table that you see there is a DIY that I made as well. And the link for that is going to be down in the description box below. I have high ceilings, so the height is perfect because it draws your eyes right to the top and the mirrors make the space look much more bigger. The effect that the light gives when every other light is off is so beautiful. And I love the way that particular wall has been transformed from plain boring into something much more dramatic and functional as well.
I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.